Welcome back to the boat cheat and welcome back on board Caniclani. We're going to just do a very quick cheat now on getting your bilge properly dry. Many boats, including this Yono, have gone for these bilge liners, which look a great idea. It means you get a nice clean bilge, but the reality is that there's a little bit of water that's down inside the bilge that you can never get at. And the result of that is there's always just a tiny bit of water sloshing around in your bilge, which is fine, except that you don't want it to start smelling over a period of time. So what we're going to look at today is how to get that up. So here's the water inlet through hull fitting for the toilet. And as you can see through the liner there, there's quite a substantial amount of water below that liner and on the bilge. Now you might think the bilge pump would remove it, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, the water's got to be quite a lot higher before the bilge pump even gets involved. So I really would like to uh, sort the problem out and get the bilge properly, completely dry. Here's the solution. Six or seven pounds on Amazon. Uh, it's an engine oil sump uh, pump and it's a simple syringe basically a large plastic syringe so we're going to put that through the hole and see how we get on well five minutes later and as you can see we've got a bucket full of bilge water most of that's actually come from two sources one is the it's the drain from the fridge so when you get a bit of um, uh, sublimation in the freezer in the fridge compartment it drains out the bottom of the fridge and you end up with that in the bilge but the other one is through hole sensors are changed and removed for the blanking plugs to go in when you're not using the boat just to stop them fouling a little bit comes in then so it's nothing to be alarmed by but who wants it sloshing around in their bilge and it's taken me literally five minutes to sort it i think that's a good cheat